Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Lecture title is um, uh, Indole uh, Synthesis. Uh, indole Synthesis uh, is a very important topic. So, that is why uh, it is divided into uh, two parts uh, number one today, and tomorrow we will talk about the second part of the lecture. And uh, why it is important? Because there are so many important indole compounds are there, both natural as well as synthetic and consequently there are many important many famous uh, indole synthesis are known in the literature. I mean uh, uh, like pyrrole uh, what you have seen there are more than 60 pyrrole synthesis uh, in indole also is uh, closely uh, parallels pyrrole synthesis, but number is little less it is uh, maybe uh, two dozens of uh, very famous indole synthesis are known in the literature. Okay. So, what I will do today, I will just basically uh, give you the glimpses of uh, maybe three or four different indole synthesis. Okay. And uh, before that, let me just uh, tell you a little bit about the importance of the indole compounds, because um, as I said, because they are very important. So, how they are important? As natural products, they are important, and then you have to know a little bit of the you know, important compounds. Let us say, what are the important indole compounds? There are two different kinds. What I said, natural and synthetic. Let us say, among the natural indoles, what are the important indoles? Do you know of? You have to just uh, bit up. You have to think about it. What are the natural indoles? What are the natural indoles? You think? Do you know of? At least you have to have uh, 12 different or let us say 10 different uh, natural indoles. I think what comes to my mind indigo, it is an uh, indigo. Uh, what else? Na I am talking about natural, uh, natural indole compounds, natural in indole compounds. What? Uh, tell me the name. You have to tell me the name. Resulting. Good. Uh, Resulting. Mescaline. Mescaline. Mescaline is not. I think it, I don't think it is an indole alkaloid. But you check resulting, and uh, then uh, strychnine. 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 Strychnine, which is a uh, heptacyclic compound. Then um, brucine, many of you know, strychnine and brucine they are used for optical resolution, chiral resolution, a very asymmetric basis. Then what else? The, uh, I am talking about the natural ones, uh, resulting strychnine, brucine. Then what else? Uh, Vin blastine. Vin blastine. And then uh, uh, being uh, Christine, they are all these natural okay, being Bastin and being Christine, they are commercially used as anti cancer drug. They are actually dimeric indole kind of alkaloids, okay. and they are commercially used in the, um, for treatment of cancer. So, they are all the different kinds of these um, natural, then there are um, more than 10 different uh, indole uh, synthetic indoles are known. And the, the commonest one, of course, many of you know, no, oxine, right? Oxine, what is it? Oxine is a uh, plant growth hormone. 
plant is a very one of these very simple indole derivative indole 3 nobody uh, acetic acid is a plant is a class of plant uh, is a uh, the member of the plant growth hormone auxins. Then there are uh, so many things like say um, there, are, there is a class called uh, tripton. Uh, tripton, oh, what is it? Tripton is a, again a class of uh, synthetic um, drugs uh, which are used for the treatment of migraine. I, th I think all of us know what is migraine. I do not know some of you will be having the migraine. What is the, mig what is the meaning of migraine? Right, it is a chronic headache. So, and the structure would be the structure would be very similar, I mean similar to indole acetic acid. And so, you will have the indole moiety and at, at 3 position you have uh, some uh, thing. Then and this other positions also will have uh, a substituent let us say uh, in this case uh, this is a sulfonamide and this one uh, has a name um, called uh, sumatriptan. sumatriptan. So, likewise you know there are uh, there are a few more actually there is one more called uh, rizatriptan which is marketed by Merck again for the treatment of these. Then there are um, medicines for uh, treatment of hypertension and then also, um, also uh, um, there is a uh, drug for lowering the cholesterol level in human being and which is uh, uh, would be looking like again a, a 3, 4 disubstituted pyrrole. Uh, why I am writing all these things? I think you have to know the importance you know otherwise I mean even today uh, people have been uh, developing uh, synthetic methods. People have been developing synthetic methods. Reason being there are so many natural uh, alkaloids I mean alkaloids are all natural so many um, bioactive natural um, alkaloids are known and of course, there are many uh, synthetic um, uh, compounds are known. Uh, this one for example, has a name called uh, fluvastatin, uh, fluvastatin. I think uh, by now many of you know what, what the meaning of the statin means basically uh, all these drugs belonging to this uh, class would lower the cholesterol level. That means, it's treatment for uh, it is used for the treatment of uh, hypercholesterolemia. So, that means, uh, treatment uh, hypercholesterolemia, uh, cholesterolemia. Okay. So, that means, reduces blood and so, there, then there are also very I mean quite a few more famous uh, drugs for example, mitomycin. So, why I am you have to remember some of the names not, not all the names, but some of the names. mitomycin is a very famous drug and used uh, again uh, it is an anti cancer drug. And because of all this imp because of the importance of these um, um, compounds there are so many indole synthesis. Okay. And, uh, when you talk about the indole synthesis I think these <coughs> In, uh, in our class because there are so many. So, you have to just uh, you have to classify and sub classify. If you take uh, just let us say uh, if you take the nucleus. So, like pyrrole if you remember uh, py pyrrole if you do the bisection or uh, sorry dissection of the molecules or um, do the retrosynthesis you can come up with more than 20 different uh, methods. So, in all uh, how many methods you can come up with many many. Okay. So, what we will do actually we will take up only those important ones not the those one not very, uh, not very popular like say for example, um, what you can do uh, the way one can think about that. So, something like this that means you have to have an aniline derivative or mono substituted benzene. So, you can start from uh, mono substituted benzene right mono substituted benzene. Uh, you can uh, start. Uh, then, uh, of course, there are um, uh, ways to look at. So, one can also um, uh, let us say x and y. So, you can start from a uh, di substituted uh, benzene derivative, right. So, these are the two because uh, from the structure you can make out that you can build up a ring here and you can build up a ring here. So, five member ring. That means, 
basically these two retrosynthesis reflects the formation of five membered pyrrolytic system. What are the other possibilities? Other possibilities could be other possibilities could be that uh, you start with a pyrrol derivative now. We have learned <coughs> we have learned pyrrol right. So, pyrrol derivatives now one can think about let us say a deal solder kind of thing let us say. If you have a vinyl kind of pyrrol you can do the deal solder. So, you can make the benzene derivative this is one of these ways one can think about then other possible what are the other possibilities. So, right hand right hand sides basically represents the formation of the pyrrole. So, this is the pyrrole formation and then this is a uh, mode uh, where you can form the uh, benzene ring formation benzene ring formations. Okay. There are other possibilities one can think about these, are the, uh, these days which is more popular right. So, you can think about what is it? The substrate is designed for a reaction many of you know RCM uh, metathesis reaction. So, you can think about this RCM here, del solder here. Then I mean you can go on breaking this molecule you know the way you think about and one can think about constructing both the pyrrol and the benzene ring together by an intramolecular reactions. So, uh, you have different kinds of mode and <coughs> today as I said there are more than uh, 20 different uh, very famous indoor synthesis are known in the literature. So, what I will do I will probably um, talk about 6 or 7 not many 6 and 7 and of course, the first thing that comes to your mind uh, comes to our mind is uh, I think the what are the methods, but I think we limit it uh, we limit our discussions to maximum 10 different methods today may be 5 or uh, 3 to 5 and uh, tomorrow rest. Okay. Uh, first thing that uh, comes to our mind is Uh, fissure indole, uh, fissure indole synthesis. Fissure indole synthesis. Even today, people are using fissure indole synthesis, and this this was one of the earliest methods discovered. When it was discovered in 1883, so it was discovered in 1800, 1883. So you see, it is more than 100 years old, more than 100 100 some. So and uh, people still are developing very very uh, the developed method or improved methods of the indoor synthesis. Then uh, uh, the next thing that um, uh, probably would like to take up uh, there is a uh, reaction called um, Bartoli indoor synthesis Bartoli indoor synthesis. Uh, then uh, we can uh, take up uh, one more uh, these are all uh, which are often used uh, Nenith's uh, Nenith Jesku, Nenith Jesku indole synthesis, Nenith Jesku indole synthesis. Then uh, uh, this is my order of priority by the way. Then um, the next one uh, could be uh, Himmets Berger, Himmets Berger indole synthesis and then there are I think many of you know uh, there is a scientist called La Roque. Uh, La, La Roque, La Roque indole synthesis and, uh, and uh, then there are there is a synthesis called uh, Nokel uh, indole synthesis. So, the, the are all different uh, I think we will uh, take up uh, these uh, in order. Then uh, if there are some uh, classics one for example, um, um, many of you probably know some of them. So, that is um, so we may uh, take them up in the next class. Uh, what, what else do you know? Madelang, right? Madelang. So, we will uh, take up Madelang uh, next time uh, and also we will tell you why even people are still interested in modifying the, uh, the classical the classics one or the classic classical ones, modern Madelang synthesis. Then, uh, this is not often used, although. Um, Gasman pyrrole synthesis, gas for one end, Gasman pyrrole synthesis. Then uh, I am just I have just picked up some of these uh, Batco uh, pyrrole synthesis. Uh, then uh, then there is an organometallic chemist known as uh, Hegedas. So, uh, Hegedas indole synthesis, and I mean you can go on like say um, uh, Castro indole synthesis. Then uh, Mm, uh, okay, twelfth one could be uh, Mori 
uh, ban indole synthesis. So, so likewise, I mean, uh, I have a few more. Uh, I think uh, the Fukuyama indole synthesis is there. This is also quite well known. Book um, um, indole synthesis. Then uh, Suga uh, Suga Sawa indole synthesis. So that means so I, ha I have a list of about fifteen here. It could be more even. Okay. So, but um, let us look at um, only let us say uh, uh, three or four today. And that means Fischer uh, indole synthesis, Bartolo, uh, Bartoli, and Enigets probably will. I think we'll stop probably here today. And when you talk about this, I think uh, if you just look at the top, uh, we'll ignore the left hand side. Means Dilsholder approach and RCM approach. They are not that very popular. Okay. So that means our concentration would be focused on this uh, pyrrole ring formation. So, in the last class we talked about the pyrrole ring formation. So, we'll, today we will see also look at the pyrrole synthesis, but um, um, normally, normally in heterocyclic chemistry what I said before, uh, what, what I said before uh, is that these all these synthesis all the, all synthesis are governed by the two key factors. What are the two key factors? Let us see which synthesis would you study or which synthesis would you do research on. There are some thing I mean, so there are only uh, there are only two factor, key factors in a synthesis, especially in heterocyclic chemistry. What are the two key, uh, key factors? Uh, I told you uh, during the um, pyrrole synthesis, no key factors, I mean that you know makes a synthesis uh, very popular that make uh, a synthesis very popular. Like say when I say um, the Paul Knorr synthesis, when I say Paul Knorr, it's even today people are using it. Uh, people have used that the Paul Knorr synthesis for the manufacture of Lipitor that the commercial drug. So, it was it, it, was, it is a very old synthesis that means basically the one of the key factors is the starting material. So, the starting material should be very easy that is important. Uh, okay. uh, starting materials that is, that is so you have to that is why when I divided the synthesis I said okay, pyrrole formation that means your starting material must be benzene benzenoids okay. unlike not pyrrole compounds because pyrrole compounds are difficult to make benzene compounds are easier to make. Okay. Then what, what next another important factor. Functional group, functional group, no, functional group tolerance. I think you know the meaning, right? What is the meaning? Means if you, when you are doing the key transformations, uh, the other pendant functional groups should be uh, remaining intact, so they should not be affected. Okay, so, the, so, these are the two important factors in, mo in most organic synthesis and then in certain cases of course, there are other things this is the chemistry part also is important, but when you talk about the textbook chemistry and uh, it is the uh, functional groups and the reaction conditions also. Third factor of course, uh, I mean you can just add basically the uh, uh, easy reaction friendly reaction conditions. So, the, this is also an important uh, or versatile versatile and uh, versatile reaction conditions. So, this is versatile and friendly reaction conditions. So, these are the three important factors. Now, today what I said that it was discovered in 19, uh, sorry, 1883 and even today this is very popular because the uh, many of us know that uh, many of us know one of the starting materials in case of, of fissar indole synthesis is uh, is hydrazine right is hydrazine the other other uh, other one is other is a uh, ketone right so you have um, ketones and hydrazines and both are very uh, readily available so that is the reason why fissar indole synthesis is very popular third one of course all of us know and there are other points reaction conditions what is the reaction conditions for the fissar indole synthesis reaction condition is uh, uh, not necessarily H plus uh, acids, uh, we would say acids, which acids 
and what is the product? So, product is I say indole and what you will see you will find uh, it is a di substituted indole derivative, di substituted indole derivative this is the commonest one. Okay. So, that means, it is uh, this satisfies that uh, the study minerals are readily available ketones and hydrogens functional group tolerance we have not seen so, so far yet, but the reaction condition is versatile and friendly. When I say friendly that means, what are the possible acids? Uh, acids could be simple HCl, see HCl in acetic acid, HCl in acetic acid this is one of these even HCl in uh, ethanol or methanol. So, you, you can see here uh, trifluoroacetic acid, trifluoroacetic acid, even sulfuric acid also could be used, but of course, it is a low percentage. Uh, then uh, BF3, BF3 in acetic acid, and uh, I mean you can uh, then you can use uh, uh, more often uh, use this PPA, polyphosphoric acid, polyphosphoric acid, and uh, the one more uh, commonest. Uh, acid catalyst is zinc chloride. Uh, sub, uh, sometime uh, cuprous chloride also used as the uh, Lewis acidic conditions. So, you have a wide variety of the acids available for the reaction conditions, okay. yeah, reaction conditions. And that is the reason I think this, this is uh, I think probably um, second organic reactions on which a book is completely devoted to. What are the other reactions for which one complete uh, textbook is devoted. For example, uh, there, are, there is a book on only Fischer indole synthesis published in 1982 by Wiley. So, tell me one more reaction which should be very famous and for which a book can be written. No, one reaction. So, we have learned so much of organic chemistry right. Just tell me one good reaction for which a, a, a big volume of textbook can be written. Very good Diels-Seldahl reaction yes I think he is right Diels-Seldahl reaction. Okay. So, uh, let us say uh, coming back to this indole. all. So, I think many of you know what is the mechanism, mechanism is so you st again you start with a mono substituted right mono substituted <coughs> benzene derivative that is the hydrogen so all of us know in the presence of ketone uh, uh, it undergoes uh, hydrogen formation uh, what next this is also very important uh, what next what next uh, under the influence of acid it under sorry 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 uh, it undergoes isomerization right isomerization or uh, let us say uh, let us uh, rewrite so <coughs> r1 and r2 right so all of us know undergoes isomerizations to form the corresponding enamine sorry hydrogeno uh, hydrogeno compound. So, hydrogeno alkene and I think uh, many of us know now next in the presence of uh, acid and uh, presence of acid. Uh, so, I mean uh, one can uh, write uh, the acid here also without uh, straight away you can say that this can undergo um, uh, C3 uh, sigma tropic rearrangement. So, what you will have so R1, R2, and you have hydrogen up here, and then you have a new bond now, right? And uh, this is there is a hydrogen up here, and in the presence of one of this acid catalyst. So, you can uh, straight away just write that uh, this should uh, this is hydrogen here and so this should again it, it will form an aniline kind of derivative right. So, R 1 
and R2 and I think the rest many of you know uh, what happens again in the presence of acid. Uh, so, there is a loss of ammonia in the process of the condensation. So, it will give you an intermediate. Uh, so, uh, so amino you can say amino indole derivative right amino indole derivative as the intermediates and this is uh, NH, NH here and then subsequently uh, you will have this uh, loss of ammonia in the again in the presence and what you will get is the you will get the uh, indole derivative. So, this is the standard uh, protocol standard protocol. Then you have all kinds of now, but uh, you have to very carefully look at actually the reaction intermediate reaction intermediate. So, what is first one is the hydrazine second one how do you how, how do you uh, describe the second dis, uh, intermediate I, after isomerization you get an intermediate of this kind right the one I am pointing to and uh, uh, how do you describe this derivative how do you describe this derivative. I mean that means substrate uh, what I will say it is a uh, N vinyl hydrazine N it is not a hydrazone this one is N vinyl hydrazine that means if you can make a substrate uh, which would be looking like an N vinyl hydrazine the reaction would take place without any problem. So, that is what you have to think about I mean you do not don't have to have an hydrazone all the time. Okay. Just a simple vinyl hydrazine also is susceptible to undergo uh, this uh, indole synthesis. Uh, let me uh, give you a quick uh, variant, uh, it is a pretty useful variant, let us say, of the fissile indole synthesis. Uh, this is known as Jap uh, Klingman uh, fissile indole synthesis, Jap Klingman indole synthesis. What is it? I think that uh, if you look at uh, the reaction would be pretty easy and uh, this reaction is done in our lab almost routinely. We start from a compound of this kind is that is acetyl gamma butyrolactone is a pretty uh, cheap compound cheap compound. Then we add this to uh, phenyl Diagonium chloride, phenyl diagonium chloride. Can you guess what will happen in the presence of, of course, uh, the catalyst is pyridine. Pyridine, I think, eth ethanol water, I guess. Uh, I remember, I, remember, I think ethanol also is there, I have no, I'm not sure, and um, some uh, specified catalyst and uh, the solvent system is there. Uh, wh what do you think? Wh what, can, what can be the first reaction product? Any guess? All of us know, right? That uh, we have studied uh, in BSc diazo coupling reaction. If, if, if a reaction, uh, if a substrate responds to diazo coupling reaction, so conclusion is that the pro, this uh, this unknown sample is phenol, right? What else? Primary amine. Fine. Aromatic aromatic primary amine. Okay. And in aliphatic case. Aliphatic case, right? No, enols. Enols. So that means, let me see. It is nothing but it's a beta ketoester kind of thing. Beta ketoester, all of us know, it exists in the form of the enol. So it will undergo diazo coupling reaction. So diazo coupling reaction, and what you'll find, you'll find acetate here nitrogen and this is phenyl phenyl but this is not uh, isolated though this is not isolated but uh, in the presence of pyridine and sodium ethoxide it undergoes it undergoes uh, dialkoxy carbonations dialkoxy carbonations so, you can uh, think about this ethoxide or uh, ethanol is perfectly all right and what you will find you will find uh, this reaction would proceed to give you the one you want it that means uh, 
what you get is basically hydrazone. That means, now the hydrazone is formed at the alpha position of the lactone, alpha position lactone and in presence of uh, again the standard protocol HCl in acetic acid. So, you will uh, nicely get this indole derivative without much problem, although yield is not very good it is uh, approximately 40 percent, but, uh, but this one uh, this hydrazone formation is more than 90 percent sometimes 100 percent, 100 percent. But you see here this is a basically the modification of the kingdom and there are plenty of uh, examples. So, I will not give you, but uh, um, now I will just give you one more uh, puzzle kind of thing. Let us see whether you can predict this uh, product um, uh, similar to this not exactly same thing, but uh, let us say if we begin with a substrate this is an olefin here right and then uh, you have one more uh, ester group there are two ester groups and if you reflux with acetic sorry acetyl chloride methanol and then heat and what you get a product. Can you write the structure of the product? Can you write the structure of the product? First of all you have to identify the reaction conditions, what is the reaction uh, and then substrate, what is the reaction condition? Acetyl chloride methanol and heat. What is the reaction condition? Quick, quick. You have to give what is it? It is a reagent, it is a reagent, it is a combination is a reagent. What is the reagent? That would cause the reaction. Reagent means that a chemical agent that would cause a reaction, right? Promote the reaction. What is the what is the reagent? Quick, quick. All of you are most of you are research scholars. You have to do. How do you generate HCl in lab? Uh, ammonium chloride and sulfuric acid, right? Ammonium sulfide HCl comes out. That is the standard way of producing. But if you want to uh, produce HCl in organic medium, how do you do? Take acetyl chloride and methanol. Then that would actually the all of it, it will form methyl acetate and HCl. So, it is nothing but HCl in ethanol. So, that is one of the conditions for fissile adult synthesis and once you do this then what we have recognized or what we have recognized that fissile adult synthesis it is not necessarily the hydra zone you have to take what else, what you have to take one of the other possible intermediate is vinyl hydrazine. So, in this case what you see here there is a vinyl group. So, obviously then you can uh, write the structure of the product right uh, in no time ag again this reaction is uh, done in our lab and this I mean our lab means I mean we repeat it rather we do not we are not the first time uh, we are not the first to make and this uh, the product is now is it an indole di So, like this you know you can okay uh, you can modify this uh, the basic fissile indole synthesis uh, the way you want. Let me take you to one more uh, quick one. Um, <coughs> Let us say uh, this is uh, made by uh, Christopher Moody, C. J. Moody, only very recently in 2010 or 11. What he did, he started with a bromo compound because hydrogens are not that easy to make all the time. So, then you take uh, Bock hydrogen, Bock hydrogen, all of you know the meaning, right? Bock, uh, who does not know Bock? Okay, all of you know fine. So, then under these conditions it uh, take a cuprous iodide and cesium carbonate then there is a, an amine ligand of course, this is a 4 hydroxy um, uh, uh, proline 4 hydroxy proline that is uh, you, all you can use phenanthrolene 110 phenanthrolene also can be used just to solubilize the copper part. Okay. So, what can you guess? 
So, actually bromine is displaced and with nitrogen one more nitrogen right. So, then you get the hydrogen derivative. So, hydrogen derivative, but you have to know which nitrogen would be linked to the phenyl ring. Any idea? Any guess? The one with Bock or without Bock? That is what one would think so, but in this case that is the reason I asked this question. It is this one, reason being Bock is a carbonyl compound, right? You have CGM carbonate which is a base. So, it will pick up that hydrogen. So, make nitrogen minus. So, nitrogen minus versus NH2 obviously, all of us know uh, uh, nitrogen minus would be more nucleophilic in nature. So, uh, that means, once you have this then, uh, then you can do uh, uh, this one. So, again let us say uh, uh, R2 and um, R1 ketone and, uh, and obviously, the answer is Answer is uh, so uh, this product in this case uh, the reaction condition is uh, like an acid, uh, toxic acid, paratoluene sulfonic acid, and the product is uh, straight away uh, you get this 1 2 di substituted indole. So, it is just a small modification though, but what he did uh, he could develop a new kind of new kind of um, uh, uh, hydrogen source. I mean, I can go on uh, like this. I think um, uh, maybe just uh, this is also a very important aspect. I think the next example is a small variation. Let us say uh, with this much of background, uh, let us say uh, I will stop here for maybe half a minute and you have to tell me the product, you know. Let us say the condition is like this hydrogen, you know, often uh, it is obtained as hydrochloride and then what you see here is a pyran derivative now. It is a pyran derivative and then uh, you have uh, this is an example of the uh, tolerance of the functional group. You will see very interesting uh, functional group tolerance and uh, the reaction condition is 4 percent uh, sulfuric acid and uh, then other solvent is uh, dimethyl, dimethyl uh, acetamide. When I say dimethyl acetamide mean N and dimethyl acetamide. Okay. So, write down the intermediate or the product whichever let us see in half a minute it is an, uh, it's an, it's an example of a fissure indole synthesis. I mean for us it is pretty easy right. Without looking at I can just write down at least this much because it is an example of fissure indole synthesis. So, indole has to be there. And fissure indole synthesis what are the key intermediates? Uh, hydrazone and vinyl hydrazone. So, these are the key intermediates. So, if you can identify the phenyl hydrogen and hydrogen just connect this nitrogen and remove one of the nitrogen and that takes care of the formation of the. Okay. So, this is how uh, or you can just simply sit down and uh, do this little bit of the manipulations. Uh, do I need to uh, wait or just give away the pro uh, anybody? Okay, let me just quickly uh, ask you the question whether it would produce the uh, two substituted indole or three substituted indole. Uh, two substituted or three substituted? No. Uh, number three carbon. Okay. So you work out the mechanism. Uh, it would be looking like it will be looking like this. Okay. Uh, then finally, finally I have one more question to ask you and uh, this is let us say uh, this is an ex I will uh, uh, this is an exceptionally uh, exceptional case. Uh, let us say 
if you begin with hydrazine and then condense with let us say acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde means this one, right? So you get acetaldehyde hydrazine and try to do uh, the fissurindole synthesis. Fissurindole synthesis and fissurindole synthesis the reaction does not go. Means there is no indole product. But if you do let us say acetone, for example, the same thing. If you begin with acetone, so what you'll get? You'll get the uh, two substituted indole. Two methyl substitute indole under similar conditions. Did I make it clear to you the difference between the two reactions? One is acetyl uh, acetaldehyde derived hydrazone, other is acetone derived hydrazone. In one case, you get this product fairly in good yield. The other case, no, no indole product is found. No indole product is found. Who can tell me the answer? Why the, the top one doesn't go? That is the basis of the next reaction. So, what I will be talking about. Uh, no, once cyclizes loss of ammonia in presence of okay, we have an acid, the, all of us may acid will scavenge ammonia, that is not a problem at all. See, most often the reaction fails, you know, if, if the cyclization does not proceed. Once the, you have a cyclic structure, you can do all kinds of manipulations. So, that is the reason when we had, huh, you have answer, what is your name? I forgot. Sushit Acharya, okay, good. Very right, right, very good. Good, I think he knows the answer. Uh, see, if you remember when you talked about that two kinds of the intermediates, hydrazone and vinyl hydrazine. The vinyl hydrazine is not sufficiently stable because you do not have a methyl group there. In the case in the here, you have a methyl substituent which stabilizes the double bond through hyperconjugation. So, that hyperconjugative stability is not there for the corresponding vinyl hydrazine. Okay. So, the, uh, what I mean to say that means uh, is easy to make substituted indoles, but it is not easy to make unsubstituted indole. Okay. So, that is the reason why the Bartoli reaction is pretty useful. Bartoli reaction, Bartoli reaction, so you can say or Bartoli synthesis. What is it? I said pretty, it's a, it's a, uh, once again, what you see here in the previous example, hydrazine derivative. In this case, you have nitro derivative, nitro derivative, and often also you have to think about often it is an ortho substituted, often ortho substituted. Then, if you take um, vinyl magnesium bromide, vinyl magnesium bromide, uh, once again uh, normally uh, it is used in excess, and uh, as you will go on and see the reaction conditions or the reaction mechanism, you will see that it is really necessary with one equivalent you can get the product and what you will get you will get <coughs> so two three unsubstituted indole derivative in this case what what was expected what was expected is it was just the plain indole right in the first case uh, so but what you see here the two and three positions are unsubstituted and uh, mechanistically, mechanistically, um, what it does, uh, you can sit down. I can just uh, outline the intermediates probably. Uh, so, uh, quite interestingly, uh, <coughs> all of us know this uh, nitro will be written like this. Now, this. Uh, Vinyl magnesium bromide, all of us know these are all nucleophilic in nature. It is the it's a strange kind of reaction that takes place here. This uh, vinyl carbon ion attacks and this uh, nitrogen plus is neutralized, and then magnesium is uh, uh, linked to this oxygen minus. So, what you will find? You will find uh, something like this, right. So, so some And then what? Then it collapses to form. Let us, all of us know this is minus and plus. 
So, it collapses to form nitro subenzyme. So, essentially one of the I will just ignore this, um, this methyl here and what you will get? You will get this uh, nitro so benzene, nitro so benzene. So, that means, uh, the first equivalent of vinyl magnesium bromide is reducing the nitro compound to the uh, nitro so. Uh, what next? And we can uh, again uh, take this vinyl magnesium uh, bromide. So, it will now sort of an inverse because of this uh, benzene ring and inversely, uh, inversely. So, uh, what we will get? We will get uh, a, <coughs> a nitrogen up here, then oxygen and now something like this right and this nitrogen minus would be neutralized with magnesium bromide, magnesium bromide. What next? I think you can guess what it is right. What next? Louder and sigma tropic rearrangement, 3 3 sigma tropic rearrangement. So, <coughs> that means, so you will get the 3 3 sigma tropic rearrangement and what next? Then you have you see that means, that this is the second one, third one. Now, all of us know this mag, uh, the magnet is sufficiently basic in nature also. So, one would expect uh, uh, a kind of uh, proton uh, abstraction followed by cyclization. So, what you will be getting? You will be getting this indole right now, indole and here would be the magne again the magnesium would now would be shifted to this, then again magnesium. And then of course, uh, if you do this uh, acid treatment, you lose water here and then NH is free. So, eventually you get to this compound. Okay. So, what you see here, this is a very uh, straight cut way of uh, making it. So, you, what you have to do? You have to take the vinyl magnesium bromide which are readily available. So, likewise and you have a nitro compound, aromatic nitro compounds are pretty easy to make, but there is only one limitation. And actually, the limitation is that it has to have an ortho substituent. If you do not have an ortho substituent, the reaction would not go. Because it, it can give rise to all kinds of the complications. Many of you know the nitro compounds undergo vicarious substitution reaction. So, we will talk about that uh, sometime later. Okay. And <coughs> so, lastly, I think this is a pretty uh, very useful reaction, though, very useful reaction and pretty easy to make. Uh, the uh, Nenith Jeth school. Nenith just go uh, indole synthesis. It's a very famous one, once again, and uh, why? Because uh, is be because the starting materials are pretty easy to uh, get, and one of the starting material is one of the starting one of the starting materials is uh, let's say quinone, and this is a must in case. This is a common starting material. It's for all. Nenith just go like this reaction. The other one is something like this. What is it? Any guess? What is the, how do you describe the starting material? This, see again in the, very, in the first minute of this lecture I said the starting materials are important in heterocyclic chemistry. Yeah. Right, but uh, that is fine. That is very good. But so, but how do you describe this name? Subclass of the compound. It is not a beta ester. It is an amino. What? So it, actually, it is called in amino ester. So this, uh, if you don't have an ester, that is basically in amine, right? Amine is attached to the alkene, so in in, in amine, in amine, so in amino ester. So, if you have in amino ester and this and simply just it's such a simple reaction though by the way very simple reaction once you have the right um, uh, right quinone and just and uh, as uh, Karthik says that you take beta keto ester ammonia 
and then you get to this product without much problem. And you just take it in a separated funnel and it will aqueous ammonia and shake it and you will get this compound very easy to make. Uh, of course, it is commercially available. Now, take that compound benzoquinone that is also readily available, mix them in acetic acid and heat it for some time. Uh, you, uh, immediately, uh, you get this uh, uh, indole derivative. So, indole derivative, but only uh, drawback or usefulness, whatever you say, I think it is an usefulness because uh, what you will be getting? You will be getting this one. OH. So, hydroxy indole. So, you ha how, what are the things you have to remember here? Religious reactions requires benzoquinone as a starting material and in amino ester and the product is in hydroxy indole uh, unlike the previous two uh, synthesis. And the mechanistically uh, one can uh, what is the mechanism? Mechanism mechanistically uh, one you will see here what is the mechanism first step that is important a good beginning is important. There are two possibilities NH2 can undergo condensation with carbonyl group that is a possibility or uh, enamines uh, can undergo Michael addition there are two possibilities between the two uh, if you remember uh, I have been telling you between the two which one is uh, more favored faster eh? Shifts base, yes, shifts base, but it, it is a benzoquinone shifts base. Benzoquinone shifts base, okay. Now normally, the shifts base formation would require an acid, but acetic acid is not that sufficiently acidic. So, Michael addition is one of the, I mean, is one of the first, is yes, very right, but in this case, it is not a purely shifts base reaction. So, Michael addition would undergo uh, first probably, and if you uh, do so, so uh, you will have uh, the intermediate like this. right which is equivalent to which is equivalent to what uh, hy hydroquinone which is equivalent to hydroquinone right this then it undergoes uh, air oxidation it undergoes air oxidation so once again uh, you will get a uh, uh, you will get a ketone and this enamine and this ester and here. What next? I think the next is pretty easy. So, it will undergo uh, cyclization right. So, cyclization double bond ketone here you will have OH, NH, the methyl group here right and this is something wrong. <coughs> OH, right? Anything wrong? there is a mistake I can guess if you have right oxidation level etcetera I think this should not should not be incorporated uh, it should be uh, like say I think now you can straight away you can straight away uh, put this here that quinol can be tautomerized to the ketone right and then you can straight away go to this one to the, to the loss of this is not oxidation is not uh, required actually oxidation is not required. Okay, if you uh, look at the uh, and sit down and see the oxidation number calculation, you will find oxidation is not a, requ a requirement here. So, in any case, so this is um, now, now I mean just uh, maybe one more example probably I will give you uh, just to uh, show you the uh, group tolerance. For example, um, if you begin with a highly substituted quinone of this kind and then uh, take this enamino ester and in this case uh, in, a, in this case uh, tertiary butyl ester and uh, the reaction condition is pretty easy uh, and acetic acid etcetera and uh, 
what you will get? You will get this hydroxy in indole derivative okay, once again. So, that means and you, ha, you can keep it in mind that hydroxy uh, is disposed para to the para to the nitrogen para to the nitrogen and uh, you will get you will be getting the corresponding uh, this uh, tertiary butyl ester tertiary butyl ester and this one pretty easy. So, uh, only restriction is to get the right kind of the benzoquinone that is there. Okay. So, <coughs> summary quick summary. So, wh uh, what you have what you have to know? First thing you have to know that indole compounds are very important. So, you have to name uh, you have to remember at least uh, 10 different important indole compounds synthetic and natural. Then there are about dozens of indole synthesis, but you have to learn in this for this class how many? 6 5 or 6 uh, today we have uh, talked about 3. The, the, of course, the most famous one is Fischer indole, then it has different uh, different kinds of the variants, one of the uh, Jap Klingman variant, other is the Modi variant. So, like this there is a variant of the Buchwald variant also we have not talked about, but that basically essentially involves the synthesis of hydrogen. The next one was Bartoli. Um, so, you have to remember the starting material nitro compound and the vinyl uh, magnesium or the vinyl basically Grignard reagent, then, then uh, only drawback it is used in three equivalents of Wigner reagents. The last one, the Nenizelsku, easy to operate, easy to carry out, perform the reaction, that is not, a, uh, and then starting materials are pretty, uh, once again, not uh, very expensive, the benzoquinone. So, you have to have the right benzoquinone, and the reaction conditions are very easy, you have to only acetic acid and boil it. Okay. And uh, end product is hydroxy indole and this hydroxy group is the, uh, para to the nitrogen that is it. So, we have learned only three of the indole synthesis. Next uh, we will talk about the other three.